So how can I study in a way that makes it easier, more enjoyable, and helps me feel more confident to pick the best answer on the exam? So even though when I talk about when you're studying and um, how you can really apply this to your patients and make it easier for them, make it more enjoyable for them, um, really at the end of the day, this um, I want you to feel more confident about picking the best answer on the exam because you can treat all day long and you can have great results for your patients. But at the end of the day, if you're not picking the best answer on the exam, you won't pass and you won't get those three letters behind your name, which is why we're here, right? Because it is totally possible for you to get those three letters behind your name. And I want you to get it. So are you ready? Let's get your, your um, papers out and let's create a plan, right? So right on your paper, um, you know, when you are going to become a certified hand therapist, I will become a certified hand therapist in month, year, May, 2022. I will become a certified hand therapist, May, 2022, right? Anything that gets done anytime gets done in no time, right? So, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it like, it'll never get done later. <laughs> um, that's why I say about, you know, uh, decluttering my house or something like, oh yeah, I'll go through my closet and like clear out all the stuff that, like you won't do it unless you like, um, you know, really painful and you need to get it done, write it down and plan it out. So one of the things that we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to calendar it out and then we're gonna share it and then we're gonna get into the habits that will get you to the finish line, all right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna calendar it out. So now that you know when you're gonna take the exam, right? We're gonna work backwards. What does each month look like, each week look like and each day look like for you to be on target? So let's be realistic about it. Let's write it out. And then after you write it out, you can put it on your calendar phone, right? So I, I'm a big fan of using uh, Google Calendar or whatever so that you can like really map it out, all right? So if, if um, we're gonna talk about May, let's talk about working in um, to the exam in May and then working backwards. So if you already know that it's gonna be May, then um, we're gonna work kind of backwards from that timeline, right? So um, what can you do in terms of like a broader thinking um, across these six months, you know, really build your foundational knowledge. And I talk about foundational knowledge and it really comes down to anatomy. And it's not anatomy like, the way you learned anatomy in school, right? This is functional anatomy. This is like, I know like where the muscles um, originate and, and end in, not because I know exactly specific on what part of the bone, but really on how it relates back to the injury that, that, um, that we're helping, right? But it's important to know your foundational anatomy in a way that helps you understand normal movement, normal kinesiology, right? How things move normally so that you can know when something goes wrong, what you can do to solve that particular problem, how you can evaluate it. And really the evaluation is like the testing. How do you test for certain things? And then the protocols, what are you allowed to do? How long are you allowed to do things? And when can you progress type of stuff? And then taking all that into applied knowledge and then being able to treat somebody and say, what would, what would I do as a certified hand therapist for the best possible results? So what would you do as a certified hand therapist for the best possible results? So when you're studying, kind of keep these things in mind and then really start picking the most important aspects to know and then applying your knowledge. So when you're studying, don't think that you need to, to know like every little thing. I mean, well, that's probably one of my biggest issues when I started. And I essentially had given myself a year and my first three months were just like a drag um, because I just couldn't stay focused. I couldn't get over the overwhelm. I couldn't get over the, really the, the foundational stuff because the like, it's just such a thick information that I wish I had someone help me so I can just get through it faster. And the angst that you have and the, the worry that you have that you're just never going to get it right, um, you know, it sucks. I mean, the feelings like, you know, just feels really kind of shitty, you know? So, so what you can do about it, it's like, 
you know, really kind of hone in on some of that, but think ahead of time on like what you would need to know as a certified hand therapist versus like sometimes these videos online are all about like, oh, what the surgeons need to know, right? Or then like, then it's so speci- uh, so not specific, like as of a patient, but you as a certified hand therapist need to know more than your patients. You need to know more than your patients, but you're not a surgeon. So you don't need to know as much as the surgeons know, like exactly where things are, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, yeah, patients are coming in smarter and smarter. They're coming in looking at the same videos you're looking at. They're coming in looking at the same YouTube videos, the same website stuff that you're looking at. So you've got to level up and like know more than they know. And then because you know so much more uh, in terms of how to solve their problem, you really can take it to the surgeon and say, yeah, you're the surgeon, but from a rehab standpoint, from a certified hand therapy standpoint, from a, how am I going to get your, your surgeries to look really good because your patients get the results and they think you did amazing work, you know, um, here's what I'm recommending. That's, that's key, right?